Next, we consider a risk-averse news vendor. The setting remains the same, but now we assume that this news vendor is risk-averse and has a utility function which is given by the square root of x. This means the utility is increasing in the profit of the news vendor. However, the marginal utility from an additional dollar is decreasing. And we want to answer the question, what is the news vendor's expected utility when ordering 12 units? If you are able to calculate the utilities that are associated with the different order quantities, you can also determine the utility maximizing order quantity. But now let us start with calculating the expected utility when ordering 12 units. So, the expected utility when ordering 12 units depends on the events that can occur. With a probability of 0.3, the demand is just 10 and we ordered 12 units. In this case, we will sell 10 units at a price of 10 each and we bought 12 units at a price of 4 each. With a probability of 70%, the demand will be larger or equal than 12. In this case, we will sell all our 12 units resulting in a revenue of 12 times 10. And again, we have expenses of 12 times four. So let us do the calculation. In the first case, we have a profit of 100 minus 48, which is 52. In the other case, our profit is given by 120 minus 48, which is 72. This means our utility is given by 0.3 times the square root of 52 plus 0.7 times of 72. If you plug it into your calculator, you will see that this is about 8.10. This means we calculated the expected utility of a risk averse news vendor with the utility function square root of x when ordering 12 units to be 8.10. Now we could go on, calculate the uh, utilities that are associated with the other order quantities and then determine the optimal order quantity of this risk-averse news vendor. If you have in mind the order quantity of the risk-neutral news vendor, you already know that a risk-averse news vendor will never order more than a risk-neutral news vendor. 